Pranks. From knocking on a door and running away, to burning someone's house to the ground, they come in all sorts of packages, but sometimes these pranks go a little too far and in some situations can leave people dead. Here are the top 5 most extreme pranks that got people killed. 16 year old student Ryan Wilson was shot dead after attempting to prank gang members in Chicago. Wilson, a young man from Chicago suburb Naperville, went to the southern side of Chicago with his friend, pranking random people. According to Wilson's friend, the teenager approached a couple of Vice Lord gang members and said, are you ready to die? Before the teen could pull out a bottle of Clairol hair dye to insinuate that he meant dyeing his hair, one of the gang members pulled out a .22 and shot Wilson multiple times in the head. These types of consequences could have occurred to much more hated pranksters and even some other pranksters like Roman Atwood or Soflo Antonio. So they are very, very lucky to be alive. Pamiya Lau was a young lady who unfortunately is now only a cherished memory kept alive by friends and family. Police say that Gali and Pamiya's 15 year old brother were in the family house at 2531 Cambridge Drive when Pamiya and a 12 year old cousin decided to sneak into the Gali home to scare the pair inside. However, Gali thought an intruder had entered the home, prompting him to get Pamiya's brother's gun and search the premises. After discovering noises coming from a closet, Gali opened fire. Tragically, the noises were coming from the Pamiya and her cousin, and Pamiya was relentlessly shot dead. Adrian Broadway was a 15 year old girl with a group of teenagers who had gone into the house of retaliation prank on another teen who had done a prank on them on Halloween. According to the Little Rock Police Department, the teenagers told police that they had thrown toilet paper, eggs and a mayonnaise bottle on a car parked there. As they were leaving, a man came out of the house and opened fire. Broadway was struck in the head and died. Another teenager, the driver, suffered injuries to his right arm and he was transported to a hospital where he was later treated and released. A teenager trying to jump onto a moving train in a prank was burnt to death when he touched a 250,000 volt electricity cable. Ashley Aaron Matthews suffered 84% burns when his left ankle hit the cable as he dangled from a bridge over a railway depot. The horrific incident was captured on film by the 19 year old's brother Jake, who then fled the scene with his friends. Ashley was found injured on top of the train and was rushed to a hospital, but he died the next day. Lastly, and probably most tragically, 17 year old Sergei Kasper was a subject of a cruel plastic wrap prank that ultimately led to his death. The Bolly team was reportedly wrapped in cling film. His arms and legs were bound, and he was put into a toilet feet first. The disturbing prank took a turn for the worse when the bullies took him back to the classroom. Still bound at his arms and legs, he attempted to hop but lost balance and fell towards the teacher's desk where his throat hit the side of the desk. The fall caused him to crush his throat. Most of the students reportedly continued to laugh at the fall until he wasn't quite evident that the boy's occasion was severe. Casper was rushed to a local hospital where he later died, but that's not all. To make matters worse, the teacher was present throughout the whole entire incident and reportedly did nothing to stop the bullies from going on to, with the prank. If you ever see this extreme bullying going on, think of what the best thing to do is. If trying to stop the incident will do nothing, find someone else who will better help the situation, but never sit there to do nothing. If you found this list sad, although fascinating, remember to like the video to raise awareness and subscribe for more videos if you enjoyed. Thanks for watching and good luck out there.